everybody, it's Kim Hawk and I'm known as YouTube's Fairy Godmother of Real Estate. As many of you know, we're doing a special program this year and we have special VIPs that are with us today because we have been celebrating the life of Congresswoman Pat Schroeder and we have her wonderful husband, Jim Schroeder, with us today along with his next door neighbors. Thanks to Kim Hawk. So, Jim, you know, we have been uh, getting nominations from teachers, from parents asking for youth that are between the ages of 3 and 18 for nominations on children that are making this world a better place. And we've been getting so many great videos from these young kids. And I just want to let these kids know, too, there is a man that was a part of all of this that made it happen and it was you. And I just want to applaud you in particular. You are a Harvard graduate with your law degree. You worked in the Clinton administration. And if I read correctly, you were the one that when they were asking for somebody to be nominated, they might've come to you and you said, no, I think you're asking for the wrong Schroeder. Is that correct? Well, that's not quite correct. <laughs> I came home and my committee was sitting in there and he said, well, we finally found a candidate for Congress. And I said, oh, yeah? And he says, yeah, your wife. <laughs> and I said, well, what about your wife? <laughs> well, I've got to tell you, I know for a fact in my life that when I was in school, I remember Pat coming in and making a lot of big changes. And because of the two of you, I think women in particular have been given a lot more liberties than we ever have. And so I want to say thank you because I did want to make sure everybody gets to see this handsome man who has also been very involved in all this stuff that's been proactive. So when we, one of the things that we do each week is when we pick the student or the uh, the daughter or son, we tell them that they are also going to be getting a milkshake from the downtown diner because we realize that Pat always would make time for ice cream. Is that right, Jim? Oh, yeah, yeah. Ice cream. You scream. We all scream for ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine? I mean, she's traveling around the world having huge, huge meetings with uh, kings and everyone, and she would want to make time so that she could have some ice cream. So what we wanted to do at the downtown diner with the owners, Adrian and Courtney Perez, is that they wanted to honor her with having a milkshake that would be something that she would like to have. So we're going to have Jim sample that today, but would you share with some of the better ingredients that you thought should go in the milkshake? Well, uh, she loves chocolate, but she also likes this New, or New Orleans praline. Yes, we've heard about that, yeah. I'm not sure what they're coming up with, but I'm sure it'll be good. I'm sure it's gonna be great, yeah. So with the neighbors being next door, you would imagine that you might wanna stop by possibly, right, and to celebrate her. Wouldn't a milkshake make sense to you guys too? Oh, absolutely, especially if it had chocolate in it. She loved chocolate. She loved chocolate, she was wonderful. So the other thing as well is the Celebration Foundation would put a sign in the front lawn of the child too to encourage other kids to be making a positive difference in this world. And so Linda, what do you think about about that? The way that these kids that we're seeing today are very overwhelming because Linda is on the steering committee deciding who is winning these awards and they've all been fabulous, right? Yes, ma'am. I think anything we can do to help these kids see, just like Pat, that we do not only make it a better place, but the things that we see are positive. With a lot of things that go on in our world now, we need to see the good in people. We need kids to want to do the right thing, be good role models, to set themselves up for success when they get older. Yes, and I can tell you some of the winners already, because we knew Sadie Moore, who was our first winner, Jim, her grandmother called me after she won the award and she said, Kim, I saw Sadie walking in the rain and saw a little uh, kindergartner that was wet and she grabbed her umbrella and she said, I'd want to make sure Pat Schroeder was, you know, seeing this and she wanted to make her proud. And then we also have the president of the Celebration High School, her name's Claire. She has won three years in a row. Wow. Three years in a row. And she made the comment that it was because of the Schroeders. She has the opportunity to be the high school president. So 
I gotta tell you, there's a lot of good that's coming out of it. So we're getting ready to be able to experience the milkshake and we're gonna introduce you guys to Adrian because he's the owner of the Downtown Diner and he's doing a lot of great things. He was actually a Disney Award winner for the Dreamers and Doers when he was a young person as well. So stay tuned, we're gonna catch you on the next segment. Hey everybody, so we have Adrian Perez here. He is the owner of the Downtown Diner. He has been a huge, wonderful partner along with the Celebration Foundation on the Pat Schroeder Award because we want to keep the memory of Pat alive. And one thing that makes us all smile is that she liked ice cream, right, Jim? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> so we're going to put a milkshake together and we're going to ask Jim if he approves or if we should do something else. But I'm so excited, Adrian. <laughs> you actually got some New Orleans caramel praline oh, ice cream. That's right. Oh, shout out, no free shout outs to Publix right here. <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, we, so we, uh, when I heard that uh, uh, Congresswoman Shorter was a huge fan of the New Orleans praline ice cream, I searched far and wide. I went all the way up to the Publix and Water Tower shopping center and I found some. Um, we've tried it before. It's very good. It's very sweet. I remember hearing that she liked it very sweet. And we're going to put a lot of chocolate in there too. So we're going to have a little some New Orleans praline ice cream. We've got some chocolate syrup. We're going to do some Oreo cookies. Blend it up real nice. I think you're going to like it. I think you're going to like it. It's a 10. It's a 10. So everybody come to the downtown diner and ask for the Pat Schroeder milkshake because life is so much sweeter with her presence in our life, right? And for those of you who have not nominated a student or your child, please be sure you can actually text me if you'd like 407. 808-9845, I'm sure it's right below right here. And just give us a description as to why you think they should win. And then we're gonna make sure that Linda and Ollie over here, they are gonna be looking at the nominations as well, but it goes on for the whole year. Yes. Thank you to the Perez family. Thank you to the foundation. And thank you absolutely to Jim. He's the best. Yeah. Bye guys. Thank you. Make sure that you subscribe and like so that we can continue to give you up-to-date information on all things that are going around the 25-mile radius of Cinderella's Castle because this is truly a magical place to live.